Hello everyone. This is class 7 in CRT textbook chapter 8. Rational numbers and we are doing exercise 8.1 fourth sum. Draw the number line and represent the following rational numbers on it. First step is to draw a number line. I am using a scale, digital scale. And uh, just I am drawing from here. And, okay, I will take some random. Gone. Now we are going to use it. And first, he told to represent 3 by 4. So, 3 by 4. To represent 3 by 4, we need to draw. Like, you know, the denominator is 4. So, till like, I will show you. 0, like, uh, 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4, and here it will become 1. Because, like, there are 4 in the denominator, right? So, when you again come to 4, it will become 1. So, now you need to get 3 by 4, right? And again, just I'm not writing minus 1 by 4 and all. Just like minus 1, minus 2. And here, uh, uh, 2, 3, 4. And you are getting, you want 3 by 4. So, here is 3 by 4. And it lies between 0 and 1. And I'll name, I'll name it as a point B. So, it point b represents 3 by 4 that's it and the second one will be and not there is the line because it will be easy for me again not to draw again and again one second just give me one few minutes few seconds sorry Never mind. Yep, it's finished. Okay, it, it is little dirty, but don't mind. The second one is minus 5 by 8. So, the denominator is 8 and the numerator is minus 5. So, the, if minus 5 lies on the left side of 0, it's negative, right? So, this will be 0. This will be minus 1 by 8, minus 2 by 8, minus 3 by 8, minus 4, I mean, sorry minus 4 by 8 minus 5 by 8 and I'll represent it as a point C and uh, 6 by 8 7 by 7 by 8 and here it will become <coughs> guess what minus 1 and point C lies between 0 and minus 1 point C represents minus 5 by 8. Sorry, my handwriting is bad. Don't mind. Now, let's do the third one. Easy peasy. Okay, second one is done. Third one. Third one is minus 7 by 4. Now, it is, the denominator is again 4. So, it will be like 0, minus 1 by 4, minus 2 by 4, minus 3 by 4, minus, like, it will be as minus 1. And minus 1 represents minus 4 by 4. And uh, minus 5 by 4, minus 6 by 4, minus 7, minus 7 by 4, and here it will become minus 2. So, minus 7 by 4 lies between minus 1 and minus 2. And, and uh, it is represented by point D. You can write any point yourselves. So, it, represent, it represents, it lies between minus 2 and uh, minus 1. And, it and minus 7 by 4 is represented by point D. And let's do the last one. I'll draw the line again, it's better. I'll draw it black. Yep. The last one is 7 by 8. There is no minus in the numerator. So, it will be as positive. 
so I'll tell you zero. Just write minus one. And here, <coughs> one by eight, two by eight, three by eight, four by sorry, uh, four by eight, five by eight. I mean, sorry, I'm not. Five by eight, six by eight, seven by eight. This represented point point Z, and and here it will become eight by eight. See, you can write either eight by eight or two. Two. Single digit two, and here four by eight. Okay, four by eight. You need to write as four by eight only because the numerator is eight. And sorry, 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 my bad, my bad. And eight by eight is represented as one, one. Because the numerator is eight, and we reach the numer. See, the denominator is eight, and the numerator is eight. So, the it will be as one, and and the uh, it lies between zero and one, and and it is represented by point, point or letter J. Did you got it? If you didn't, please message this number. Thank you.